I feel like I can understand both sides of the argument. I personally don't have a problem with it. I think it's a, it's a tradition that the community has grown to love and stand behind. I don't think there's any negative connotation um, involved in that. Um, people can play it up however they want. And uh, other than that, I'm all for uh, supporting your hometown team. I don't see any reason to change the tradition. We're in support of removing and retiring these negative images of indigenous peoples, whether in football or baseball or hockey. And uh, in fact, no people of any kind should be a mascot or considered a mascot. We're having to re-educate people about our history and the negative images that are imposed upon us. So it's, it's, a, constant, it's a constant struggle educating people that this is not respectful to our people in our community. The time is coming soon, but we want the public to get involved and help us make the change together. I think change is tough for anybody. I don't think I would be comfortable immediately with any kind of change. Uh, I'd like to stick with uh, who they are and all the tradition that surrounds that name. Same team, same town, you're going to support them no matter who they are. So I, I'd be on board for you know whoever they're called, I'm going to support them. You know, probably tonight, and I want to make it clear that we're going to call for a boycott of all merchandise that of these teams, like the Atlanta Braves, like the Cleveland Indians, like the Washington, and like the Kansas City Chiefs. All that merchandise, they're making buku money off us and stepping on us and being disrespectful. So that's what we're calling for. And people in those cities where the teams come, be ready to a solidarity to support us in this effort, you know. And you don't have to be an Indian to stand behind this moral issue that Indians or no people should be a mascot.